rolling, 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 yeah. Are you ready? So welcome back to Machinery Nation. We've been given the opportunity by Weebang mowers to test some of their legacy Virtue roller mowers. Now, if you want pretty patterns on your lawn, these might be the machines for you. But let's give them a good test and see what they're all about. So we got three mower models to test today. We've got the 19 inch 48 Pro, the 48 Pro BBC, and the Legacy 56 Pro. Now they all do different things slightly, but fundamentally, they've all got a big steel roller on the back and they'll put a nice stripe on your lawn, or that's what I'm hoping they'll do. So let's quickly run through the specs of each model. Right, so the first model, the Legacy 48 Pro, 19 inch aluminium cutting deck, rated up to 1500 meters squared cut, three speed gear box, three, 3.5 and 4.6 kilometers per hour, 179 cc Kawasaki FJ 180 V engine, 1.7 liters petrol fuel tank capacity, 72 liter grass bag with airflow fabric, height of cut 13 to 67 millimeters, 5.2 meters per second vibration levels, friction disc blade protection, and the weight of the machine is 64.5 kilos. And moving on to the Pro 48 BBC and the differences between this and the first model. Fitted with a Warner BBC blade brake clutch. 6.2 meters per second vibration levels. And the Legacy 48 Pro BBC weighs in at 65.5 kilos. And moving on to the last model, the Legacy 56 Pro and the differences between this and the 19 inch models. 56 centimeters or 22 inch cutting deck. The most impressive grass box capacity that Weebang produce, 85 litres. Fitted with a friction disc assembly. Vibration level, 6.5 metres per second. And is weight always the best when it comes to roller mowers? Well, maybe. This one weighs in at 68.5 kilos. And all these mowers come with three year commercial warranty or five year domestic, with 25 years warranty on the aluminum cutting decks themselves. So impressive, impressive machines. Now we've got some tests to run through. We're gonna do cutting performance, bagging performance, and striping or pattern performance and see which machine comes out best and which one might be best for you. Let's crack to it. So to keep the test fair, when we're doing the cut, we're all cut at 25 millimeters. So that's the 22 inch and the 19 inch models I've got here as well. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have high lift blade fitted to the 22 inch and the 48 Pro. And the 48 Pro BBC, which I've got on here, is just gonna have the standard blade. So you'll see a bit of a difference between the performance and the bagging capabilities between the two. Let's fire up and take a cutting. I think I filled the bag. So it's proper cram that grass box full of grass. It's a bit low in there. <laughs> right, so I think 25 millimeters might be a bit short for this garden. I've, uh, I've sculpted the lawn, so the boss man's not gonna be too happy, but I think what we're gonna do to make it fairer, we're gonna move it up so we get some nice pattern on the lawn. So we'll move it up to, what should we say, Will? Should we move it up to 42 millimeters? Let's go 42 millimeters all the way through the range and see the performance. But if you can see, that's standard blade on this machine and see what I've cut and it's bagged it all, pretty impressive. You can see what it does with a standard blade. We're gonna try one with a high lift. Right, so we're now on to the 48 Pro fitted with the high lift blade. As you're probably aware, I'm still cutting the grass a little bit too low, so I'm gonna bring it up to 52 millimeters now and see if that gives us the desired effect that we want. took ages to fill, didn't it? That really does show you what a high lift blade can do. It does cram every corner of that bag. Look at it. And the Legacy 56 Pro, the biggest and heaviest machine that Weebang have to offer. Let's see what performance results it gives us. So 
So now we've filled up the grass bags, let's check the capacity of each one and weigh them. So the 48 Pro BBC fitted with standard blade weighs in at 7.8 kilos. 48 Pro with a high lift blade weighs in at 12.85 kilos. So let's weigh the 56 Pro grass bag. Cool, that's heavy boy. Weighing in at 17.65 kilos. So in this video, we set out to tell you which machine had the best cutting performance, best striping performance, and best bagging capacities. Well, I'm sure you can see, I've been impressed by every single machine. I mean, that is an absolute beast. It fills the grass box right all four corners. Nearly had a 17 kilo grass bag there, full of grass, absolutely packed to every corner. Really, really impressive. I just wonder what it would be like in the wet, as I think those high lift blades would do a fantastic job. But to be honest with you, I would probably struggle doing that all day long. I would probably pick one of these 48 Pro and Pro BBC machines, which are a little bit more compact, but they give you the same finish. They still give you that humbug looking lawn effect that you want, that British stripe that we all strive for. I love the blade brake clutch system on it. It means you can keep the engine running when you empty the grass box and come back. But personally, myself, I like the 48 Pro. Nice and maneuverable, gives a really good cut and performance. It's got the high lift blade on there and you can see how low we cut down and it cut to every single bit of grass that's left on the lawn. So I think that is my favorite, but you might like the 56 Pro. It really comes down to the garden area you've got and what you want to do with it. Thank you ever so much once again for joining us. I hope you liked our video. Please like us and subscribe and do all of those things and we'll keep bringing you these videos. That's right, we are Machinery Nation.